Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the new space and divide utilities that were added to Tailwind in version 1.3. They allow you to space out your elements and put dividers in between your elements very, very easily. So let's jump right into the code. I've got five divs here, all with a background height and width, and then I've got a second little example that we'll jump into for divide. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at spacing these out. Previously, you might come down here and you might add margin on some of them, but then um, say you add like a margin left class or something like that. The problem with that is that you'll have a margin left class on the even the first element, so it'll push it over, or you can do it with some padding and margin hacks, but it's a little tricky. So with this new space class, what you can do is come up onto your parent element and say, I want space, and we're going to say X because we want horizontal spacing, and we're just going to put um, 4, which is 4, uh, 1 rim, and 16 pixels, and we'll just save that and see what it gives us, and we'll see that it spaces it out 16 pixels between each element. If we inspect that, you'll see that what it actually does is it applies a class to all but the first element in the stack, um, telling it to put some space on that left side. So this works great, but usually on mobile, we want to stack our elements and then only have vertical spacing and get rid of our horizontal spacing. So what we can do is we can say only add horizontal spacing on desktop, and then on mobile, we will set it to flex call so it'll lay out in a column width and then we'll just say on desktop switch it back to flex row and so the base will be a flex column layout and the base will have some vertical spacing and then you can see here because of how big my page is it has um, vertical spacing instead of horizontal um, and if I bring that back you'll see we just got to on desktop override our space Y, which is our vertical spacing. So we'll do medium space Y for, uh, zero. There you go. And then that works as expected. I'm just making the viewer window bigger uh, to kind of simulate mobile here and you'll see it'll stack just like that. So the second utility we're going to look at is divide, which allows you to put dividers between your elements. And all you have to do is divide and then tell it whether it should do a horizontal or vertical divider. So because these are laid out horizontally, we'll say divide X and we're just gonna make it a two pixel divider. So we save that and you'll see this little divider show up right there, which is awesome. You could say divide X four, divide X regular um, to change your width on that divider. Again, on mobile, you probably want to adjust this so that it will lay these out in a column layout. So we're going to kind of do the same thing here where we say flex call, medium, flex row, and then we'll say medium, divide x2, which matches this, and then we'll say divide y, we'll just say divide y. Um, and we will remove our vertical spacing on um, the, our desktop layout. So we'll say medium divide y zero. And then when I scale that up, you'll see that it will put the separators in between instead of on the sides, and there won't be any horizontal divider. There you go. That's all there is to know.